Hey guys, Sean, us Little Over Dummies. So, good news, bad news. Um, don't take your LE apart. <laughs> uh, okay, so, where we left off uh, in my last video is I removed this brass guide, I guess you could call it from the air chamber. And I removed inside here, there was a brass valve with a spring. Reassembled my burner, gassed it up, it leaked. And I'll tell you why. Because what I didn't see is right here, there's a little, there you can catch the brass through there. That's the valve in there. And it has two O-ring seals on it. So without this in here, charging this, obviously I just lost all my CO2 through this hole right here. Uh, so I did reinstall um, the valve in here. And when I get this working, I do have the measurements for this now. Th I think this here is gonna be the ticket to uh, bring that consistency up the, the velocity up more um, instead of just getting the one hot shot, maybe be able to continue that, you know, I, from, for a mag at least. So I replaced that valve in there as it was from factory and I reassembled my marker and it aired fine but it doesn't fire. It acts like it's in safety still. And so I'm at a crossroads here because I can't, for the life of me, figure out what I am missing. I'm gonna kind of show you guys a little better than I have in the last video. So down here is see this cam right here it's buried underneath that is the safety so currently it's in fire and you can see there is oh here let's just take this off for now there's a hook here now when i engage the safety see how it presses this trigger bar down so when I pull, and, and there's also this guide plate here, this where this block off is, so it, it helps guide this. It kind of looks a little sloppy where it is, how I'm showing it now, but you can see, it does not pull this cam. This cam, and I'll show you once it's, when I put that plate back on, rotates down, and when the valve is charged, it's against this little piece here. And when the cam rotates down, this is almost like your sear. It pulls this, or this lever down and allows the valve to continue on its way. And when it's all the way back here, it fires. So let's put this back on here. So I have this spring here, this little uh, helicoil is loaded up. This valve return spring is where it was when I split the case. I'm just gonna throw this guy back in here. And this was how I found this. So somewhere here, this is not actuating. At least that's my, my theory. And I'm showing you guys because if somebody knows something more than me, I'm all ears. So as it looks, it, it looks assembled correctly. 
Uh, then this plate goes on like this. Oops, let me just push that down. And that's how it goes, like that. Now again, it's holding air. So it's in safe right now. I'm gonna put my thumb on this just to keep everything together. So nothing's happening. What's happening is when you pull the trigger and this bar doesn't actuate anything over here, you're puncturing the CO2. Fills the chamber. And then of course you move it to fire. And if you watch again, this cam that's down inside here, you'll see the trigger bar kind of lift. See that? Very minor or minute, uh, but that is its intention. And then when I pull, you can see how it, that cam kind of rotates this one right here. And it's supposed to release the valve. But this here, I think is still laying in this position. Now when it's in this position, the valve also bumps up against this, which I think is sort of like a fail safe. <sighs> this shaft here is linked inside. There is a hole here and you can see there's a hole here. So they, they matched up. I, I actually did reinstall this just to verify that it had nothing to do with this it, and it doesn't. With this installed, assembled in this exact orientation I have now, I have the exact same problem where it charges and it just doesn't fire. It, it feels like it's in safety. So that's where we're at with the LE. Um, I wanted to show you guys because again, I said, don't take it apart. Well, I'm not giving up yet. And a lot of you guys know, I think, uh, send this back to burner, I pay $50. It, I mean, obviously I avoided any kind of warranty I had, um, but I'm not gonna go there just yet. What I do need is a fresh set of eyes and probably a little just break from being frustrated. Why? Um, I can tell you now this thing's been a part like well over 10 times, just trying sort of different things, thinking I missed something simple and, and it feels very simple. This shaft here, when this chamber fills with CO2, because there's a hole there, it's supposed to, well, I think it's supposed to actually, and now I'll try and do this without everything popping. This spring is really tough, by the way, so it's kind of hard to show, but, so when I, the shaft is in the up position right now, so when I pull down on it, and it doesn't pull down very far, but pulls down far enough that this flapper here lifts up and would allow this valve to pass by it. So the CO2 goes in, and I'm thinking it's supposed to expand and push this down, but it's not, it's not, even when I restored to its original factory form, which is why I didn't reinstall this. So I'm gonna just slap it back together and then I'll just demonstrate what it's doing. Oh, don't forget the important stuff. Barrel. CO2 block, you know how many times I forgot to put that thing in when I was reassembling this? And then you know the other problem was, it actually works though, is I kept installing the the uh, burner boost block, which is shorter. This is the factory CO2 block, and then this is the burner boost block. Obviously it's just an extension, but it does work, but it's not correct. So drop that guy in there. Just do one final check, make sure everything's pushed down.
Oh, there we go. Just use this to get the final lock in there. Okay, so that end went together good. Just gotta pull the spring back, because you can see it's not quite in its spot there. Give it a squeeze. And we'll toss some screws in. I always do this back one first because it is the most important one, holding everything together. There she is, assembled. Uh, oh yeah, the safety. So we are in fire right now. All right, let's, uh, I gotta throw the boost back on here to test. All right. Currently, there's no magazine in it. CO2. All right, it's in safe. It pierced. Now, see, it won't fire. So safety is working as intended. Everything appeared to be in order. So with this down, the cam should have rotated out of the way and allowed the that trigger bar to move up. But no. Nothing. And that is a charged burner with no fire. Oh, and just to show that it did pierce. It's gonna be bugger good. I'm done here. And you can hear, do you hear that click? That is the valve retracting, as it should. Got me fooled, guys, got me fooled. Like I said, I'm gonna put this aside for the moment. I need to take a breath. Uh, and I do have, you know, I got the TMC that I just picked up here, and I know somebody asked about uh, <clears throat> just do a little short blurp on the M17. So I'm going to move on to a couple other videos and I promise we will come back to this. Uh, maybe after some positive feedback, you know, I know you guys are laughing at me right now, but that's okay. I can take it. I know when I done screwed up. So see you on the next one. Hopefully soon.